Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Today we're going to talk about challenging the status quo of 30 inch row corn, something we've been using for years, comparing that to narrow rows, 20 inch row corn. And we've been working on 20 inch row corn for a number of years now, looking at the differences. Why did we have wide rows years ago? You know, it started off with the width of a horse. We actually had a lot of 40 inch row corn years, years ago. Then it was 38, 36 inch row corn. And then we made the major shift to 30 inch row corn when we started, started looking at different kind of horsepower, if you will. All right, so let's take a look at some yield data. Let's go back to 2019. And we had 20 inch row corn versus 30 inch row corn. And I, I really didn't get a whole lot of promising data that showed that 20 inch rows were better than the status quo of 30s. Matter of fact, you know, you look at the 30 inch row, that green bar on the left, 30 inch rows planted at 36,000. I mean, that's my average population here at PTI. You look at that dollar value, and then we go out and compare it to 20 inch rows at that same 36,000. And I actually lost $30 of the acre, 29.08 to be exact. I go to 40,000 and we're close. It's about a break even. It, it, this does go to show you that if we're gonna compare 20s to 30s, I need to probably have my 20 inch rows at populations near 40,000. As I go up to 44,000, then I start falling apart again and I've lost over, over $70 an acre. But it took 40,000 20 inch rows to compete with 30s at 36,000 and I, I lost 21 cents. It still did not make me any money. That was 2019, let's go to 2020. We've got different populations here, 32, 36, 40, and 44,000. 20 inch rows beat 30s every time. But here's the problem, at 32,000, 30 inch rows got beat by 0.4 bushel. At 36,000, 30 inch rows got beat by 2.7 bushel. At 40,000, 30 inch rows got beat by 1.8 bushel. And at 44,000, we saw the largest spread, which you'd think would be right. You know, 30s can't compete at these high populations, there, but there was still only a seven bushel spread at 44,000. My point is this, 20 inch rows, yes, they were beating 30s, but they weren't winning as large of a spread as what I'd like. And when you look at the economics of this, I mean, this doesn't really get me that excited. So we look at 30, you know, our lowest populations of 32,000, we're at a $1.40 spread between the two systems. We, we ramp up to 36,000, we're less than 10 bucks. 40,000, we're under $7. And it just doesn't get me real excited. It doesn't make me wanna go out and change my whole operation management wise to 20 inches for these low dollar amounts. That's what I've been seeing the last few years at the PTI farm. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is, I don't know that I have any overwhelming evidence that shows 20 inch rows are just gonna make us a ton more money right now the way it stands. In other words, we're making $1.40 to say $10 an acre extra is what we saw at least in 2020. I don't know that it gets me excited to run to my equipment dealer and say change my whole operation, change tire size on every tractor, change my planter width, row width and change the combine heads. It just doesn't get me real excited. However, maybe the seed industry will come out with some new corn hybrids that like higher plant populations to give me higher yield. And then I need to focus maybe on changing row width. Maybe that's gonna happen. Maybe that's gonna happen real soon. But until then, I think it's gonna be hard to adopt a narrow row system until that does happen in the industry. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you have any questions about anything that we've talked about, feel free to reach out to your local Precision Planning Premier dealer, or you can go to uh, email and just email us at insidepti at precisionplanning.com, and we'd love to answer any questions that you have. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We will see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.